Well, hello, everybody. Hey, this is just my first test of my 7D with video. Um, went outside to do it, and it's raining again. Uh, it's rained all week here uh, in Utah in the afternoon. So anyway, I thought I'd just do a good old sit down and see how it looked. I'm using my 50 millimeter 1.8. Um, I'm in manual mode with my 7D. Um, I'm shooting at 30 frames per second, so I've read that all the pros and everybody says to double that for your shutter speed. So I'm shooting at 60 on the shutter speed, 30 frames per second, 1080p, 2.2 uh, on the aperture, and an ISO of 500. So, we'll see how it turns out. Um, I'm loving, loving the 7D. Um, someone asked me, I can't remember his name, somebody asked me today, why would you get the 7D when the T2i is so much cheaper? Well, if you could feel, if you could have them side by side and feel the difference in the ergonomics and feel the build quality difference, and go through and see all the, uh, the different customizations and options as compared to the T2i. I mean, I understand, um, I understand where people are coming from. I don't know that the Canon 7D is worth um, the extra money they charge for it. I, I really don't. Um, it's really just a personal preference. To me, it, it's worth it. Um, just just because of that, the ergonomics, the feel of it, the feeling that I can hold it steadier, more steady, and uh, and get better video and pictures. If I had to to do a, a documentary video and my life depended on it, would I choose the T2i or the 7D? I would choose the 7D, um, and I think I think just about everybody else in the world would. So that's why I got a 7D instead of the T2i. I already had a T1i, and I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Um, and now when I get them side by side, the T1i looks like a little plastic toy. It, it is just weird. Uh, it is weird. And, it, uh, and holding both of them in my hand, it, there's just no comparison. No comparison at all. So that's the answer to that question. And also, I do like the electronic level because I've been going to get a bubble level for my hot shoe or try to, you know, glue something on my tripod or something I haven't gotten around to. I don't like the looks of those big bubble levels. And I'm the kind of guy that likes to have everything just perfect. So um, I'm loving the electronic level. I didn't think I'd use it as much as I have, but I'm using it almost all the time. Uh, almost every picture I take, I'm trying to get uh, lined up and even and level. So that's really nice. It just goes on and on and on. I, I, I haven't even gotten into the custom functions and there must be 40 or 50 of them in there. So uh, a lot of good stuff you can do. Um, a couple of uh, issues I have with the 7D. I, I don't understand why Canon uh, holds back on some of the new the newer ideas that are coming out you know they they ha they've held back on almost everything they let somebody else lead see how it's going to do then implement it you know Nikon's competitor to the 7D has a compact flash card and then it also has a SD card right next to it you can record simultaneously to both use one as a backup um, you know, do different things, have different options. You know, Canon needs to do that. Uh, most people have a lot of SD cards, and uh, you know, what are we supposed to do with those when we get a a nicer DSLR? You know, just uh, I guess we can wait for our next one. But it's too bad that they didn't implement uh, an SD card slot on the 7D. Uh, they easily could have, I'm sure. Any other uh, any other issues I can think of? I I honestly can't think of any of any real issues I have other than that with it 
at this point. I have had a couple of very strange instances. I bought an aftermarket battery from Optica or Optica, and you know, I, it says that it's fully compatible because the 7D will tell you how much charge you have left and how good the battery is and how many shots you've taken with that battery. And I've had a couple instances where the Optica battery just dies. I turn my camera on and I get the battery uh, icon just flashing and that's it. So I might have a bad battery there. I don't think it's the camera. Uh, so that's the only problems I've had with it. We'll see how this video looks. Talk to you guys soon. Take it easy.